Welcome, Scorpio and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box. For those of you that would like to skip ahead, please know that time is fluid, meaning this may resonate for you as a past, as a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure you check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. The decks that I use are always listed in the description box below. All right. Scorpio. In love and in life, what needs to be known, seen, understood, please, Spirit. The Three of Swords. So heartbreak here. Maybe a third party for some of you. There could be deception here. Someone's absent. Absent from the picture that they may have left. You may feel um, distant, isolated from this person. Left out in the cold. Um, they betrayed you or they disappointed you. They let you down. Um, and you love this person. Now, you could be done with a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the three of wands. You're waiting. Like, you know they're going to return to you. Like, you know they're, they're going to return to you. The Wheel of Fortune. It's only a matter of time they are going to come back around. You've been really focused on yourself right now. Healing. Um, trying to pick up the pieces. Five of Swords. You know this person has a lot of regrets. Eight of Swords. They're trapped inside their mind about this. We have the Six of Swords. They're going to want to tra travel back to you. Two cards coming out here. We have the Six of Cups and the Two of Cups. They want to reconcile with you. And those of you who are, who, you know, are, are, you know, not wanting to hear about a past person, this may not be your reading, okay? Don't force it to fit if it's not your story. You still love this person. Whatever they did in the past, I mean, just because, listen, no justification for negative actions, behaviors, etc. But no matter what they did, you still, your heart still feels pulled to them. They hurt you. You don't want to feel this way. You want to be able to disconnect from them, but your heart still mourns them, grieves this connection. You're trying to heal from this, but you know, you know they're returning to you and they will. For some of you, this could have been like a very on and off again kind of connection. Um, there's another chance at this. Come to the deck. We have the Ace of Swords. So communication coming in. Messages coming in to you. I think they're flooding your inbox. They're, they have a lot to say. Ten of Pentacles. They want commitment. They may even be saying this. Some of you may have already been married to this person. That's for some of you. Not for all of you, obviously. This is general. Uh, but they tell you that this is what they want. They, they, they want to be committed to this. They say you're the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. They're passionate about you. They're drawn to you. They Gemini, Virgo energy. They they want to manifest this back. They want another opportunity to work together with you. Um, they're going to be reaching out to you. You already knew this. You were anticipating this. Like I said, they hurt you. Three of Swords here. They broke your heart, and you still love them. And it's like you knew in your mind, you know, in your heart, they were going to return to you. And, you know, there's like sharks beneath him. It's like whatever the obstacles or challenges are, they're not going to let it stand in their way. And you're waiting. Look at For some of you, this could be a same-sex relationship. I am kind of picking that up. For just a handful of you, that is not for all of you, all of you obviously. Um, but see how she's like standing here and she's like looking at him. He's coming in here with this cup of love. And she's like, you know, she knew what was happening. She knew what was happening. You were waiting, anticipating this. Like this could have been a very off and on again kind of situation. Like they come, they go. They're hot, they're cold, they're in, they're out, they're inconsistent. For your stone today, I was specifically drawn to gold sheen obsidian. So maybe look at the properties of the stone or use it in your own meditations. But yeah, this is an omen of good luck. This is an omen of good fortune. The wheel is turning for you. There's gonna be an opportunity at this, it's not over. You knew that. They walked away from you and they grieve it. They see you manifest, they see you create, and they see you pushing forward. 
they have all this anxiety about leaving this behind. It's like as soon as they walked away, they immediately regretted it because they have nothing but live in fear, live in their thoughts, live in their head about the situation and disconnecting from you. They're asking friends about you. I don't know how to win him, her back. I'm hearing the name Justin in my head. I'm hearing that seeing that seeing JP, some of you that could be an initial, that could be a place of business, that could be somehow relevant to you. I also have S, Samantha, Stephanie. Again, that's just for some of you, for all of you, but that could be confirmation for somebody here. Um, they want to come back to you. They may use friends or some kind of mutual connection to like run into you. I, I get like somebody who's like, I, you know, I can't just go back up to her. I can't go back up to him. I can't, you know, I can't do it. How am I going to win them back? How am I going to come back in after what I did? I know I hurt them. I need to apologize. What do I do? You know, they're not, if I call, they're not even going to answer the phone. Maybe they're just in their head about it. Look at this, you know, hands over the face. I don't know what to do. And they're working their magic. They're trying to figure out, you know, how to break this communication to you. Um, like I said, they're trapped inside their head. They're, they're, they're stuck in this place of living in regret. And it's like these friends or something that they're using to break through to you. So it could be that they like, hey, can you invite this person? And then like, I'll come and they won't know that I'm coming. So I have to see them. And then it'll give us the chance to talk face to face without them blocking me or, you know, ignoring my messages, etc. They want to see you. If you're at a distance from this person, they may use like some kind of like, I don't know why I have like a page that you follow or something. And like they say you comment on it and they comment a few comments down. Or something like some kind of like a piggyback off something else to to get to you, to initiate communication, to move towards you without necessarily having to, you know, knock knock. Hey, who's there? You know, you know. Um, they're afraid of rejection. There is messages coming into you. You know, they may do this subtly, like a comment on like a friend's post or a page that you follow, and you see this. You see them react. You see them comment. You see them somehow. Uh, trying to initiate contact with you without necessarily directly communicating with you. Um, regardless, though, this is their intention to figure out how to come to you. There may be travel involved here with these cards. You may be at a distance from each other. I also have somebody, you guys may live apart and some, they have friends or someone that's going in your area traveling. They're using this as an opportunity to come see you. They're like traveling with these people. Two of Cups, they still love you. You still have their heart. They want to be with you. They want to reconnect with you. Six of Cups, Two of Cups. A lot of emotion here. Um, if I, I don't know if I mentioned or not. We do have air energy here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have we have a lot of air, actually. We have some Wands, Cups, so fire, water, a little earth. Gemini, Virgo. I mean, it could be anything you're dealing with. Pisces energy with the hangman. They may feel like you're holding back from them, so they realize they have to initiate this contact or they may lose their chance altogether. You may move on. There may be new love for some of you. The star. They dream of you. They they feel like you're their wish. You're what they want. They feel like it's divine time and the two of you will be together. The gentleman, they want to romance you, they want to talk to you, they want, again, whether you're physically talking to a male or a female or whoever you're inquiring about here, this is just the overall energy. They want to, like, court you, they want to date you, they want to, like, take you to dinner, they want to reconnect, get to know you again, talk, catch up. They see you as, like, the star, almost unattainable, like, this fantasy that they have, this desire, this temptation, even. Um, they, they can't stop thinking about you and they feel like two are meant to be together. There may be journaling about this. Like I say, I get somebody who's like writing out a post or writing out a comment or something. Like, and again, that could be very specific, maybe just for a handful of you who's like writing something on like a mutual friends page. They know you're going to see it. Uh, they're doing this intentionally to try to get your attention, to get you to think about them, to hope in hopes that maybe you'll reach out to them. Um, they don't want to just come up and, you know, overstep if they don't know how you feel right now but they feel like you know they still want this they want to make it work they need they want they they love you 
they realize that they made a mistake. Because, like, you've really turned your back now because you've been hurt so much by the situation. They're writing something. They want you to see it. They may, like, accidentally send you an email like, oh, that was meant for my friend Bob. But anyway, how you been? <laughs> you know? Um, some of you could be reading a story as well is what I'm hearing. And that may, um, you may, like, have, like, some kind of sign from that. Like, you see this person's name. You're reading a book and you wonder something about it. And um, it's confirmation for you. We have two cards coming out here. Under the deck is extremes. So yeah, this is this person's been really hot and really cold. This person, there could have been like a lot of sexual energy that could have been a part of this while your heart's broken here because you want more romance from them. Maybe that's why you pulled your energy back. We have assessing. So yeah, they're watching you from afar. They got the telescope here. They're trying to gather information. They're writing things. They're trying to connect with you in some way. They may be watching to see what you're doing online. Um, with the hunger card, they're desiring you. Like I said, you're like a fantasy to them. They, you know, there's a, a lot of physical energy in this connection with this person they like want to make it work with you they want to come back together with you they want to reconnect with you they want to be with you they're just trying to fill you out first they need to be certain before they kind of come in here and get dismissed by you because they're afraid of rejection but there will be communication here it's gonna be very unexpected to you as well uh, but they're trying to break the barrier they're gonna go to the drawing board if they can't get through to you one way they'll try a different way but they're gonna approach this kind of subtly um, and try to make amends okay so that's what i have for you i hope that you guys enjoyed this thank you so much for watching thank you for your support by liking sharing and subscribing thank you to those of you that send in donations for the channel it is truly appreciated as always i'm wishing you strength and many blessings Bye bye